more of those entertainment and sports Keep today. God. Keep God first. Watch me on entertainment and sports today. Stay tuned for entertainment and sports today. A big winner in the chat. Hello there, I'm Jake Busey, and check me out on Entertainment Today. Hi, I'm Joe Cortese. And Julia Lupetti. Hi, I'm Margie Ray with Entertainment Today, and we are here at the Global Green Pre-Oscar Gala at the Peterson Museum in Los Angeles. It's fabulous. We have a lot of wonderful celebrities walking down the screen carpet, and there's an incredible party upstairs. So thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time. So here we are with Jake Busey. Now, Hi. how are you? I'm fantastic. Now, I'm good friends with, well, I haven't seen him in a while, but I'm friends with your dad, Gary. Oh, great. Fantastic. So you're about as tall as he is, and you look so much like him. Oh, yeah. I've, I've heard that. I think it's genetics. Something about DNA. I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. What, well, once... Once I hit, like, the middle age mark, like, in my late 30s, like, I really took on his looks in a, a really profound way and then going through my 40s it's like i i look like he did at the height of his career you do you so really do people look at me because they'll they'll see lethal weapon or or drop zone or under siege or uh any of those big movies he made back then and, and they just call you gary and the next day they see me walking on the street and they they look at me and they're like I see him do these double takes. Like, wait a second, I just saw that guy. But I know it was an old movie. It doesn't so, make sense. How do you look the same? Yeah, right. that's cute. Yeah. Now, what about your latest project? Because you, you've are you taken after your father. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done about 150 movies at this that, point. Whoa, 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 150? Yeah. I don't even think your dad did 150. <laughs> I, I think we're close. We maybe are tied. And I've got a few, like, 10 or 20 TV shows and series in there, too. So, But uh, uh, most recent was uh, we, I did the new Predator movie at the same exact age as he was when he did the original Predator 2. Are you serious? Oh, Come yeah. on. We were, both, we were both 46. And... He was 46 in Predator 2. I was 46 in the new Predator. Uh, so what a coincidence! That, that was a co that was well, the same guy was a big part of both movies, the writer, the director, and uh, Shane Black, great guy, and um, so and a good friend of mine. So it, it kind of it was nice. Like he called me and said, "Hey, we're doing this little movie," uh, and I'm like, "Okay, little movie." Not from him. And he said, yeah, it's the Predator, it's the new Predator. And it was just, it was fantastic. So so we did that, and then after that I did season three of Stranger Things. That's kind of the most recent big thing, was Stranger Things. And then the pandemic hit, so nobody's, but, nobody's works. But, but now, it's yeah. coming back. Yeah, yeah, now I'm back to auditioning and looking for the next project. Have you ever thought of doing a movie with your dad? We, or a TV project with you? Yeah, yeah. I was I was walking around town, having meetings, trying to get a film made that was a really great modern day Western style of film uh, that would have been fantastic for us to do together. But uh, for some reason, as great of a script it was, that people just there wasn't there wasn't an interest. It's it's easier to say no than it is to say yes. But you know that there have been so many times where like incredible scripts have been turned down over oh, and over and over and over and, over, and then yeah. suddenly it's true. the biggest thing. So yeah. you haven't given up, right? No, well, you know, we'll find something to do together. There's all, and people always want us to work together, but it's got to be something special. So um, this one would have been. And, uh, but I'll tell you what, interesting as far as it's easier to say no with getting a film made. I don't feel bad about it or, or dis 
di you know, disheartened or whatever, di discouraged. Because uh, here's a little anecdote about how things work. A friend of mine, whom I did a movie with 100 years ago, him and his writing partner, a couple years later, uh, they took the, the script for Casablanca. Big movie, right? Yeah, duh. <laughs> little, little successful, right? Everyone knows Casablanca. So they took Casablanca, they changed the names of the characters and the name of like the town. Instead of Lisbon, they made it a different city. And 20th Century Fox, who made the original movie, said, not interested. This script is terrible. Are you serious? Yeah. They just, so they just did it just to see what they would say. Yeah. And, and, you know, the executives are all 28 years old. They don't, they, they had no idea, like, they, to make the reference. So it's just a funny thing. I'm going to pull you inside. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. okay. Well, last question. Best advice you ever received? From your dad. Hit your mark, find your light, and say your dialogue. Perfect. Thank you so much. Such an honor meeting you. Tell your dad I said hi. Tell your dad, Marge. Here we are with Jennifer Lyons, who looks gorgeous as always. Thank you so much. Now, she's not just a talented actress and model. She's also a good friend of mine, so I'm very proud about that. And she just got, well, she's been married for two years, but she's going to get have her fabulous wedding in a couple of months. Finally. <laughs> because of the pandemic. Finally. But now, back to her career. So what's your latest project? Oh my gosh, after such a long time off with COVID, I booked As We See It, which is a fantastic show. And if you haven't watched it on Amazon Prime, the three leads are incredible. They are on the spectrum, and the characters are on the spectrum, and it's like nothing you've ever seen. Well, my character had a past, and I had to have an intimate scene and they asked if I knew someone I could be intimate with. So Your I'm husband? Oh my god, that's perfect. So here we are with Jura Cortese. And I love that last name, by the way. Yeah, thank you. You, do you know what it means? You could, you could have gone just with the last name. You could have been like Cher, Cortese. Do you know what Cortese means in Italian? It means, uh, Cort it means uh, lover. To be courteous. Courteous. Oh, well, yeah. courteous. I like my definition better. Ask her if I'm courteous. She'll tell you. What? Ask her if I'm courteous. She'll tell you. Will you tell me? <laughs> yeah, I'm Italian. So. Okay, so you have had quite the career, mister. Well, a little bit. So tell us what your latest project is. Uh, I'm making a picture called Here's Yanni, and it's off a short I made. It's about a Greek diner owner who has dementia, true story. Who thinks he's Johnny Carson and his dementia? It's very cool. This is a true story? No, it's a feature. We made the short already. No, but I thought you said it was based on a true story. It's, it's based on a true story. So there is a man out there with dementia that thinks he's Johnny Carson? Man, well, he's no longer with us, but Christina Iliopoulos, who's the writer director, it's a true story about her father. So four years ago, we made this short, and now we've now made it into a feature, and we're casting right now. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, so you actors out there, they're casting right now, so. <laughs> well, it'll be shot in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Oh, wow. The jewel of the Jersey Shore. Nice. And tell us, what's, your, what's the best advice you ever received? What's that? Best advice you ever received. The best advice I ever received was, don't think. There you go. Don't think. I never think when I'm working, I just do it, right? It's a very good point. I mean, entertainment and sports today.